There's no such thing as perfection. Things can always look better. People can always look better. Me, I'm just an artist. In this world, my canvas. I know what I saw. A shimmering dress which matched her hair and her eyes. Her eyes sparkled like ice. What if I was looking for something that wasn't here? What if I was looking for something truly unique? There's a rational explanation to everything around you. If it's not in a book, it doesn't exist. Is there anything you'll believe outside this box-shaped room? What do you think? The Sunshine Girl is about finding that last little glimmer of creativity. A lot of the, our team members who are on this crew have spent four years in film school where we have been told that all the new stories have already been told. There are no new stories, basically. And no matter how we, hard we try, we will never achieve anything other than what some other guy's already done. And it's about finding the heart of creativity, what really sparks us, and finding a way to tell it in a unique way. I assure you, the, sun, the Sunshine Girl is unique in every way you can imagine. Whether visually, artistically, or narratively, it's going to be unique. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jordan Anderson. I'm the producer for the film, The Sunshine Girl. This film is special to us in a lot of ways, and not only is it a way for us to kind of harbor and, and explore our creativity as filmmakers, but it's also a way to raise money for St. Jude's Children Hospital. Being a producer is all about being a problem solver, and it's a great way to kind of look at a problem creatively and then try to find an actual solution to it. Hi, I'm Mauricio Simino, and I'm the director of photography for The Sunshine Girl. Matt Foss, our director, has a very specific vision for this film, and it is my job to understand where he's coming from and align his vision with what you're going to be seeing on camera. Hi, my name is Steven Marks, and I'm the costume designer of The Sunshine Girl. As the costume designer, I hope to bring to life these characters and tell the best story that I can, because it's a story that deserves to be told. It's an important story that applies to so many people in so many walks of life. I think we've reached a point in our lives where creativity is becoming desaturated. Um, making a film is incredible because you have so many minds just working together to make one final piece of artwork. Throughout this process I have the chance to work with directors, cinematographers and performers and together we're really going to try to bring these characters to life because this is a story that's important and it's a story that deserves to be told and with your help we can really bring it to life in a way that's going to be the best and the most magical and the most mesmerizing, which is what we want to do because we want this story to really have the most life that it can. Already I've begun starting the process of working with Matt and we've already gone over plenty of ideas about how this story can be brought to life. One of the most important is, is that we're looking at texture and we're looking at all of the different ways that in this world where, where color has been lost that texture plays a role in these costumes and, and what kinds of characters we can develop in that way. A lot of the reason that I'm here where I am today directing this fantastic movie is a testament to hard work but it's a lot of testament to the people I've surrounded myself with. The crew, these guys have dedicated their lives to creating stories in an artistic, creative way. And they will bring this movie to life. We were talking for a while about when this idea originated, we wanted to contribute to charity in a way that wasn't monetary. Uh, there's nothing stopping you from just donating straight to St. Jude's. But the hope here is that we can donate a artwork for kids to just hear new stories and kind of learn like vicariously through us like what the 
process of making a film is now. Uh, we have a great cast and crew. We have uh, almost a massive crew of 25 people, so a lot's counting on this campaign for us to make it happen. Now we've set our goal at $4,500, and it's up to all of us to reach that goal and beyond, because every dollar beyond that goal is going to go directly to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Thanks for watching, and thanks so much for your time. And I want to thank you guys so much for all the help you've given us. Thank you so much, guys, for all the support you've been giving us. It's really great to know that we have friends out there that truly care about us.